Hey, so this is the first of a three-part video series on multi-factor ANOVA. And these multi-factor ANOVA explainers assume that you already kind of know how to run multi-factor ANOVA, but you're just not quite sure what's going on and what it means. We're going to look at this through the lens of a newspaper distribution case. In particular, we want to know what factors influence the number of papers taken from a newspaper distribution point. And our factor, or independent variable, is going to be traffic flow by that distribution point. Is it a low, medium, or high traffic area? And our response, or dependent variable, is going to be just the number of papers taken. Uh, we collected data, in this example, from 60 different distribution points. And so you know, we had 20 at a low traffic area, 20 at a medium, and 20 at a high. Now here, this is not multi-factor ANOVA. We just are going to run single-factor ANOVA. And the results show that really the number of papers taken does not depend on traffic. Our p-value is pretty giant. Well, we go and we talk to our manager about this. And she says, well, did you consider the location of the distribution box was inside or outside? Man, we didn't even get deep in our presentation. We were getting asked this question. But it was a pretty good point. So we said, well, We'll go back and do that analysis and tell you what we find. So now, instead of just having low, medium, and high traffic, we also have whether the location is inside or outside. So now we have two factors. It's multi-factor ANOVA. Well, we'll run through this analysis. We know how to do that. And traffic and location both impact the number of papers taken. We have not only a low p-value for traffic, we also have a low p-value for location. And, and now this third factor has shown up, this interaction term, location multiplied by traffic, we're not totally even sure what that is. But it looks significant too, based on its p-value. Wait a minute, what? When we first did the analysis, we saw that the number of papers taken does not depend on the traffic low, medium, or high. Now when we run it, all we do is we add a second factor in this new strange interaction term, and the traffic level does seem to be a significant factor. Nobody said it better than Arnold from Different Strokes. What you talking about, Willis? How is this possible? We'll come back for part two and we'll explain why this is actually what you would expect to see for this scenario. The analysis is all correct. It's about how you interpret what's going on with multi-factor ANOVA.